Yes, sir. Do you mind if I record you? Okay, thank you. All right, you can talk. Yeah, so I spoke to, um, so yeah, so Lieutenant Wyland that you spoke to, um, he actually got the, the, uh, that information that you requested and just totally forgot to um, provide it. So if you're ready for the information, I'll give it to you. Oh, uh, yeah, I can, I gotta get my eyes. Hold on. I didn't realize I'm recording. I could have just said spit it, but I went and got my glasses and something to write with. <laughs> okay. Okay, K. Matier, spell the last name? It's M A T A I R, I believe. M A T I R, okay, that's close enough. And the handheld device is a laser. A laser? Yep, for uh, speed measurement. Okay. And the officer that was sleeping is Ethan Siever. Ethan. Okay, and uh, the the hide a question I got that answered by the DEA eventually. Anyway, um, um, uh, yeah, uh, so um, so that remedies the Lieutenant uh, Seaver. That's his name, right? I'm I'm Wyland. Wyland. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wyland. Yep. So that. Remedies that I, I expected the uh, uh, acting chief Lonnie Scott pulled him out of there because I seen him come out of that conference room. But that's okay, and I know that's not usually his forte. You know, that's not taking information requests like that is kind of impromptu. I understand for his job description, so I'll give a buy on that. Uh, that's that's fine. You can ixnay on that on that. Uh, I, I'm sure he learned that people follow up, and that's a good point no, proven. Sure, sure, sure he did, and, and he is. I mean, he's previously in, in the Internal Affairs uh, Division, and like I said, he's had a little of the answers as soon as I called him and asked him about it. So it was just one of those things where, yeah, I think it just unfortunately got buried underneath the Right. Table. Thank you for your time and attention to detail. And so the only thing that stands is uh, write a name on my complaint, Kelvin Mateer. And uh, I think that he committed assault against me in the least, according to your policy and procedure, which I would uh, think that in the least that would be conduct unbecoming. Yeah, where I'm sitting there recording them, and he walks clean out of the way. I mean, that what? And I'm gonna tell you, and don't call my hand because I like the whole. I don't like to be a bully. You understand me? What I'm saying? I, that's not how I act. But I'm gonna make a statement. That wasn't the only time that night that he did something like that. Just trust and believe. I'm. 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 I would never uh, bluff anybody. You, that's not my character, but I'm going to okay. tell you uh, that that is the part and shot with that. You know what I'm saying? He, he no, His conduct you. was, and there's cameras all right there, and the bank's right there, too. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't you know, that. just take it as my word, and, and you'll learn my word is very good. And that wasn't the only time that he was like that. Yes. And, okay. and uh, I'm, I'm not asking to see his uh, personnel file 
or anything like that at this time. But I, I, I would like, you know, at this time to, you know, invoke that uh, privilege that I have to submit a complaint on him. Sir, yes, sir. Thank you for your time and effort and your expedience. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. You have a good day. You too now. Thank you.